Okay, so this is just a bit of a side project that I'm working on. And this is after seeing a video from YouTube of a scene a PCB scene scene mill called the Ant PCB mill, I think. Ant scene something of that regard. And I, I like the idea, so I'm designing after it and hopefully uh, once my parts comes in I can do some customization uh, the firmware so that I can get it up to what I needed for here for the 2020s that I have in mind. I don't have all the 2020s right now they're being shipped but as soon as I get them they'll be put together and I wanted to use some NEMA 17s for mine. So they were using some NEMA 8s, I believe. But uh, I kind of, these are the motors I have in hand from um, old office printers that I took in part in the past. And there's no, there's not really any need for me to buy any more stepper motors if I have some available to me. So this is just a little bit of a, just a, blo a blog of it, of my process of how things are going and this this is the, oh one iteration of the stepper motor mount for the core XY design and so far it was pretty good but I'm paranoid about this is that um, this does have a little bit of flex to it Something I did not like. So in the third iteration of it, I decided to add some more versatility to it and make it enclosed right there so that there won't be any chance of flexing. And right right now it's just a process of trying to get it to work along with all the geometries to it like one thing's for sure I'm having a hard time uh, figuring out how to get the z-axis to work well to make it compact that is I saw how they did it on the ant PCB milling machine and I like the idea but those motors I've been looking on eBay and AliExpress, they, they cost like maybe fifty or sixty dollars. Some being just cheap as twenty. And in all honesty, eh, it's a little expensive for, for me at the moment, anyways. Well, I think or more like it that's more than what I'm willing to pay for. But uh yeah, this is just me blogging as to what I'm doing right now and I'll continue posting as to my progress as I make things go forward. Okay, so this is my progress so far. It's looking pretty good. I have my Raspberry Pi mounted over here so that I can have an onboard computer so that I don't have to have a laptop next to it all the time. Although the downside is I don't have a screen for it yet. so. That's something that I'm looking to get. Hopefully I can get uh, something that's small enough to add with this. So far right now I've gotten, I do have my linear rails right here and the control board that the original uh, Ant PCB makers use is right here. And I'm in the progress of getting all that done. Something that I want to do differently is to somehow uh, mount like a metal plate, either steel or aluminum, whichever one I can get here so that I can, well, ideally use like some kind of fixture mount, but a plate with a bunch of holes on it that's threaded so that I can have a multitude of usage for it. Right now, I have an idea of using a 6 by 10 inch um, stock piece that can be found on eBay, but that, that is heavily um, 
being this, I'm deciding on that right now, depending on what resources I have available to me. But uh, so I got got this thing built. So right now I'm just deciding as to whether or not um, if I want to put like some kind of vacuum on this thing so that um, I can clean it up or just deal with using a hand vacuum or a small shop vac. Just have it next to it so that once I need to get cleaned, I can just clean up as I go. So yeah, that's my progress right now. Hopefully in the next coming months, or hopefully by the end of summer, I can get it done and have some PCBs milling made. So something that I want to do is that the, the firmware that's on the board right now has some buttons that can be used for milling. And I want to make kind of like a control board somewhere around here with some push buttons. And something that's kind of fun to do is make the PCB for those push buttons on this thing so that the PCB can be used to make an interface of some sort for like a stop or zoom and that kind of fun stuff and that'd be kind of a nice first PCB to be made on this thing right here so yeah, that's something I'm hoping to do once this thing is done I'm trying to make it as robust as possible although the Plastic parts does not really help with the robustness, but it's helping with its rigidity right now. That the strength as of as is right now. I'm hoping to get these things replaced with something metal or something like that. In the future, the idea to have the fixture plates on here so that I can do something like mill soft things like wood or maybe some plastics and with a fixture plate I can just have a, a flexible mounting procedure so that I can mill whatever I want well to a certain extent because this milling machine is not going to be uh, very that powerful I don't think I'll be able to mill aluminum but some plastics would be nice and wood and putting a laser engraver on here wouldn't be too hard either. So yeah, that's my ideas for this sucker. And hopefully I can get the parts that I need. I'm going to be doing some modifications so that I can have the mounts that for the, the milling head. So yeah, that's my interpretation of this is just my progress right now so yeah thanks to whoever's watching and let me know what you think